Cheers what's up YouTube, welcome to the coffee pod, my name is Chishi Said. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. Don't let them fool you, being an independent woman sucks. <laughs> woman opens up and tells the truth, no more wasting time, let's get it. I see so many TikToks talking about how being an independent woman is so much better. Mm. And it's amazing that you don't have to depend on anyone else. But I'm exhausted. I own my own house. I'm in the process of buying my ex out. Mm. I can pay my own bills. I work full time five days a week. I'm a full time single mum. And I think it's just exhausting because of how lonely it can be. Mm. So I go, I go out, I go clubbing just to be surrounded by people for my one night a week that I don't have my baby boy. And... I'm lonely and it's sad because all I do is cook, I clean, I take care of my son and I work and I hate, I hate this system and I hate the dating scene. If you've been single, you know what the dating scene looks like in 2023 it's non-existent it's a bunch of people getting ran through women getting ran through, getting passed around that's what the dating scene is man it's crazy a bunch of just people in hookup culture and as much as i've tried to do that it's it's not for me it hmm. just makes me feel worse about myself but being lonely is something that really hurts and I don't know how to improve that when I've tried almost everything. Yeah. All right, guys, you guys heard it for yourself. She said that number one, she's tired of being strong and independent. She's tired of taking care of bills herself. She is tired. She is tired. It is not for her. And she's realized what a lot of women realize when they're finally by themselves, working through life by themselves. Usually they have a child at this point. They're no longer experiencing the benefits of being young single and attractive dating guy to guy no now she has real responsibilities now she's on that decline of her looks and she's experiencing what men may struggle with because let's just be honest in today's culture we're in a more lonely state than we've ever been women vent about this stuff more on social media platform and that's because to women it comes at such a shock at how of the, at how lonely life can get when you can't get a man to take you seriously because now you're a single mother and you're no longer that hot chick who men hung out with because you know it was mostly upside and a benefit but now you come with more baggage men have usually built tactics over time to um, deal with loneliness men learn to be by themselves in fact an article recently published was talking about how most young men are single. Most young men are not in relationships today. And majority of women don't know what that's like to struggle and face loneliness at this degree. Now, here's the other side to this thing, man, is how much coffee are these women willing to drink to get a man, to learn how to cooperate with a man, etc. Now that you've admitted that you can't do it on your own, are you willing to let a man leave? <laughs> Are you willing to enter a relationship with the man and maybe sign a prenup so that he can protect himself? Are you, are you willing to um, take that back seat and not be so strong and independent? My question with women like this, single mothers like this lady is, 
Well, what about the guy you had in your life? The problem is when you talk to these women, they'll tell you things like, oh, I left him because he cheated on me. And then the question is like, yeah, but was he willing to work through that? And why weren't you willing to work through that? People think I'm crazy when I ask questions like this because it comes down to what's the best situation for your family and that child. If a man's willing to work through that and you're willing to work through that with him, then I believe that's something these women need to work through, right? There's that. Now, people run to the extreme of what if he was hurting her? Come on, shut up. Get, get out of here. Right? We're not going to run to extremes here. Assume that the guy was an absolute monster. But most likely, it's these unrealistic expectations of, oh, this guy, you know, he can take care of us, but I just don't want to deal with the guy who hurt me like that. What about if he wanted to work through it? What if he was wanting to deal with you? The question just comes down to, are you better off without him? And is your child better off without him? Are you more miserable? Because I assure you, you're going to have a difficult time finding a man who is willing to play stepdad and love that child the same. That's just the brutal truth. And this is in general to most women out here with kids who are in this situation. Last but not least, this is why one in four of women today are like on psych meds, man. It's this lie they're being told. This will lead to depression. You can do it on your own. You're just as strong as a man. Finally, they get here. They're crying on TikTok. They're, they're complaining about it on, 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 on Twitter. They're on the coffee pot. And I think the reality of what that looks like to be a strong boss babe is loneliness. It's being by yourself. It's no one there to call for help. It's every day fighting, every day struggling. And it's just you. And I think if more women realize that, they would act, move, and probably plan their life a lot different. Guys, what do you think? As always, curious to know, leave your comments down below. I appreciate you for checking out another episode of The Coffee Pot. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.